This is question 13 from the 2008 calculator paper. Here we're told that a solid cylinder has a radius of 4 cm and a height of 10 cm. Work out the volume of the cylinder, give your answer correct to three significant figures. So using this formula, this is given to us in the formula page right at the beginning of the paper. We can use this to help us answer. So this is a cylinder is a prism and we take the cross section, the area of the cross section and multiply it by the length. So the cross section is simply the shape that runs all the way through the shape. So with the cylinder, that shape is a circle. So the first thing that we're going to need to do is we're going to need to figure out what the area of the circle that's running through the cylinder is. So I'm just going to colour in what I mean by the shape that's running through. So this here, up the top, that circle, it's not that clear, but that circle on the top we need to figure out the area of that face and then multiply it by the length. So, <clears throat> area of a circle, simply pi r squared, where r is the radius, so it's going to be pi multiplied by the radius squared. Our radius here, we're told, is 4 centimetres. So it's going to be pi times the radius squared. So pi times 4 squared. Use our calculator to work that out. So um, pi times by 4 squared that's going to give us 50.26548246 then what do I need to do with this well I'm then told that I need to multiply that area by the length so the length here is 10 so I just simply have to multiply this number by 10 I'm given this value to three significant figures so to three significant figures, one, two, three, let's look at the next number after that, it's 0 0.6. So that means that I'm going to round this number up to the next number. So it's going to be 503 centimetres cubed as our final answer there. So we've just done pi times 4 squared times by the length 10. Okay, part B tells us that the cylinder is made from wood. The density of the wood is 0 0.6 grams per centimetres cubed. Work out the mass of the cylinder. Well, we've just worked out that it's 502.654. I'm going to leave that in my calculator. We're told that it's 0 0.6 gram per centimetres cubed. We've just worked out it's 502.6548246 centimetres cubed. So I'm simply going to multiply that by 0.6. For this question here, don't be tempted to do 503 times 0.6 because that's going to give us a slightly different answer. We want to use our exact answer to the question we answered earlier. Take our use our exact answer, not the answer that we rounded. So, <clears throat> when we multiply that by 0.6. That gives us an answer of 301.592. Again, we're asked to round it to three significant figures. So it's going to be 301. It says 0.5. So we're going to round up to 302 grams. So our final answer there would be 302 grams. Now, if you got the first question wrong, what I suggest you do is pause the video now and have a go at this question here. Um, when you press play, I will be going through it. So, <clears throat> again we're asked to find the volume of the triangular prism. We know that the volume of a prism is the area of the cross section multiplied by the length. So here we're get need, going to need to figure out the area of the shape that is running through the shape, uh, running through the prism. So the shape that is running through the prism here, I'm just going to kind of colour it in a little bit, and we can see that's a triangle. We're told that it's a triangular prism. So we need to work out the area of that face and then multiply it by the length. So um, that's going to be 4.5. So working out the, just the area of the face, 4.5 times by 5 divided by 2 for a triangle. So that's going to be, that's going to give us 4.5 times 5 divided by 2. So that gives us 11.25, let's write that on. So the 
area of the triangular face is 11.25 11.25 and then we simply multiply that by the length by the distance that the triangle runs through the shape so that length is 8 centimeters so I'm simply going to take 11.25 and multiply it by the length which is 8 and so times by 8 what does that give us as an answer it gives us an answer of 90 and then it would be centimeters cubed because we're dealing with a we're dealing with volume so it's centimeters cubed and that would be your final answer